Time to wake up, Christina. Your signs are good, your vitals are good. Remember when we talked about going to the zoo and the weather got warmer? Well, it's gonna be warmer soon. I can't go to the zoo by myself. I need you to help me find the lions and the tiger and the bears, oh my. Besides, you have to wake up because I haven't had enough time to love you yet. I don't know. Doc? Lucy. I can't believe it. I found that doll that she wanted in the gift shop. She has a new dolly. An another new dolly yet. See, her signs are good. She's gonna be fine. I know. We don't even know if she can hear when she wakes up and... If she wakes up and even if. <sighs> Christina? Hey. Hey, Dolly. Yes. Yes, new Dolly, she's all yours. You heard me, didn't you? You heard me. She heard me talk. You're gonna be okay. That's your new Dolly. That's your very own new Dolly. Think again before you say anything else. I have been thinking. And hoping. But now my head and my heart say the same thing. And seeing you with Amy, it's just over, okay? You believe that there was no affair? I believe that you didn't sleep with her. But an affair of the heart. You may not have been physical with her, but you were turning to her emotionally. So, so this is my fault. I, and there was no affair, but because I care about no. her. No! We... No, this is not your fault. This is neither one of our faults, okay? We just have to accept it, Ian. Our marriage is over. This no. Is Ian, there's nothing left. We've tried everything to fix it. Doctors Lambert and Thornhart to room 420. Doctors Thornhart and Lambert to room 420. That's Christina's room. We gotta go. Eve, wait. No, we have to go. We can't go and leave this hanging between there us. There is nothing hanging between us. I've made up my mind. I'm filing for divorce. I hear that hey, somebody read hey. her feeling better. Yeah. Ears have cleared hey. up too, right? I'll call the lab on those cultures. Thank you, Denise. Thanks, Denise. Thank you. And thank you for spotting what it was right away. I think that made all the difference in the world. And I think I owe a lot of people an apology for getting so upset about everything, especially Karen, huh? Well, hey, when your kid's sick, you go a little crazy. Yeah, you sure do. Hey, you, thank you. You saved my little girl's life. <laughs> It's always nice when we can help turn a bad situation around. Yeah, it's good when that happens. And you, I think you did everything too by talking to her like that and drawing those goofy pictures. And I think she woke up because she wanted to hear your voice. You brought, not my little girl, you brought our little girl back, Doc. I love you for that and my hero. Oh, oh and <laughs> I'm gonna go help Denise with the labs if you'll excuse me. Um, what is it? Is she okay? Sure, then I'll, I'll find out. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. Hey. No, not now, Ian. Yes, no. That in there, that's a real family. You don't think I know that? What I think is that you're willing to give up on ours a little too soon. Now walk away, it's easy. What? You think this is easy for me? Come with me. Where? To a place that'll help us remember. No, I'm not going back to the cabin, Ian. I don't Ian. mean the cabin. Then where? You just have to trust me. Hey. Hey. You know, there's nothing. 
nothing more beautiful than watching your little girl resting all safe and sound and healthy. I don't know. Watching her mother watch her ranks right up there. Ooh. Thank you, Dr. Collins. You know something? Hmm. I absolutely could not have gotten through all of this without you. It's time to start our lives together as a family. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you can't wait for those burnt family dinners and carpooling and looking for that toy all over the house because we can't find it anywhere. Being a husband? <laughs> being a father? Ooh. <laughs> to both your daughters, Livy back in my life. That's all I ever wanted. Hey, are you, are you, are you sure you're not sorry that you stopped painting Paige's portrait? No. We never should have let her into our lives. But she's gone for good now. And the only thing that matters is us. Just us. <laughs> hey, little dolly, do you want to go swimming in my pond with me? No. Do you, do you? No, thank you. No, thank you? How come? Why not? No swimming? How come? Come on. I'm so tired. Oh, no. Well, you think you can wake up if we go buy a new swimsuit and then we can go swimming when it warms up a little bit, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah? You want to go swimming at home? Christina, mm -hmm. are you ready to go home and see Sigmund and play? Are you? Uh, mm -hmm. I bet he tickles you all over when we get home, don't you think? <laughs> hey, are you, are you absolutely sure you're okay? Are you feeling okay? Mommy, where'd he go? You mean Kevin? <laughs> he, uh, he went home to check on Sigmund and make sure the house is all ready for you when you get home. You miss him, huh? <sighs> I'm so glad. Hey, you know something? I'm glad you two are becoming buddies and friends because Kevin loves you very, very much, as much as I love you. And we're going to be together forever as a family, forever and ever. And nothing, nothing, not anything in this world will ever tear us apart. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Hey, Sigmund loves you. Uh oh, he's going to get you. <laughs> <laughs> 